This video today is going to be a video on how to tie a woolly bugger. And the woolly bugger we're going to be doing today is black, tied on a B6 hook with a gold tungsten bead. And what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some black hackle, some black Chanel, and some black marabou as well as copper wire. So we're just going to take our thread here, and this is quite a thick, um, about a 210 denier thread. Being a larger fly, it's not too important to have that thinner stuff. So you just work that towards just and stop just above the barb, which is where we're going to tie in the tail. Leave that hanging about there. So we're going to grab some marabou here and we're going to tie that in and it's going to be approximately about the length of the hook shank. Just a few loose wraps and then just Work your way down and tie that in. Continue to tie that in there. And I don't like to go overboard with how bushy the tail is. So that's what I like there. And you don't need this here, but I think it adds a lot to the fly and just makes it a bit more effective, to be honest. And so you just want some of this, um, basically anything with a bit of flash, really. It doesn't exactly even have to be this material here. I mean, I've used squiggles biscuit packets in this in the past and that's worked that actually worked quite well so if you have any squiggles biscuits lying around take the tinsel off the packet and use that and you're just going to tie that in three strands each side of the tail so I'm tying this in on the side closest to me a few wraps and then this tape bit here, I'll bring around the other side and tie that in there and then I'll just cut that to length. So just pick off the black piece, the Chanel, and you'll just be left with a smaller bit there. When you tie this Chanel body in, that just makes the profile a bit a little bit slimmer and doesn't create too much of a chunky area up this part of the fly. And that's tied in, and we're also going to tie in a hackle. Just a little bit of judgment on where you cut that hackle. And just tie that in as well. Tie that in there, and I quite actually don't usually use copper wire. I know a lot of people like to, so it definitely does make your fly more durable as well. So for the sake of this video, I'll do copper wire as well. And now that we've got a lot going on at the top there, which is just making it a bit bulkier up there, on your way back down, or well, up towards the head, just build up some thread. Or you may like to put some wraps of lead at the start down this end, 
I find the tungsten bead is plenty enough weight for what I like to fish. So I just like to fill this area with a little bit of thread as well. Another way you can avoid having to do this is just by tying your stuff in a bit longer all the way. Um, so you cut your whole piece of hackle and tie it all the way down and same with your copper and same with your Chanel. But I just find this a bit easier. So right, now we have a nice consistent shape there. We're going to grab our Chanel and wrap that towards the head. And I'm wrapping this towards me. So I'm going to do the same with the hackle and then I'm going to wrap the copper the opposite way so it reinforces everything I've done. off there. I'm going to grab our hackle. So just like the Chanel, I wrap this hackle towards me. So it's easy to use your hands when you've got a nice long piece. You definitely want to use hackle pliers if you're using shorter hackles. We've got that to our head and just tie that in nice and tight. Go over a few times, you don't have to go crazy. Take your scissors and cut that off there. Once I've got that cut off, I will just tidy up a bit of what we've got, a few wraps. And quite often for me, when I'm tying heaps at once, I just usually leave it at that. But for the sake of this video here, so I'm now going to wrap th this copper ribbing around. And this makes it a much more durable fly. those evenly spaced, those wraps, again we're just tying that off at the head. And yeah, it's a real effective fly and the cool thing about it is it's pretty simple to tie. It's one of the first wet flies or streamer flies that I ever learnt to tie and I've definitely caught a lot of fish on woolly buggers so hopefully once we whip finish this, grab our whip finishing tool, hopefully this fly here and this tutorial here will show you how to tie up a few and have some luck and have some success on them. They go great in lakes, they go well in rivers, they, you can use woolly buggers anywhere and you'll do well. Probably one of the oldest fly patterns in the world actually. So now that we've got that cut off. Grab our head cement. Let's put a bit of a, bit of a generous amount. It's not like a nymph, you don't have to be overly delicate. And that there is a fairly perfect woolly bugger. Um, again, there's a lot of sort of personal preference in a fly like this. Some like to have a bigger tail, I, I don't. I like it, and some won't go with the flash there. I like the flash there. And like I was saying, I often don't even have the copper ribbing on it. Um, just if I'm tying up really real bulk amounts, I just will go with the Chanel and the Hackle. But if you really want a full, complete one that's going to last a bit longer, I definitely recommend to put the copper ribbing on it. So, And you can also change around the bead colour, change your hook size. This is a B6, you can go as small or as large as you like. And you can vary the colours, go green, brown, um, you can really do what you like there. Green, brown, black is probably the three most common colours. 
that you can even go red or purple if you like. But yeah, um, again, uh, sorry about the content drought that I've had lately. I do intend to get some more fishing adventures out to you guys soon. I've just had a pretty busy few weeks, so happy to be able to sit down and get this video out here for you guys. And hopefully it's a fly that you're able to use over this season. And hopefully this season has started well for you guys that are watching and you've been catching heaps of fish. But thanks very much for watching appreciate it don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and i'll be back soon with another video cheers